Hey everybody, this video is going to show you the design tab in the Licorice website to kind of give you an idea of what you can do with this template and the design. So we're going to be covering a couple of uh, tabs here. We're going to be covering the settings tab and we're going to be covering this overlay settings tab. So in the settings tab we can go ahead and start and you can see that you can go ahead and upload a logo here. Uh, I went ahead and uploaded it and it's a transparent ping. You can make it a JPEG or a transparent ping. You want to keep it about 200 pixels wide or less so that it doesn't run into the navigation and you don't have sizing issues. You can link that that logo to anywhere you want. So you can click on this and link it to a page that you created, like the home page. So if somebody clicks on it, it'll actually take them back to the home page. Or you could link it externally by typing HTTP here and putting putting that in there. So if you link it inside, you want to open it in the same window. If you link it externally, you want to open it in a new window so it doesn't close your website. So the next thing that we want to talk about is the background. So you can do a background top gradient color and bottom. That refers to this color and this color, and it's going to blend the two. So if I were to change this, and on any of our color selectors, you can select the color like this, or you can go ahead and you can paste in a hex code right there. And I'm going to go ahead and click Save. And you're going to see this green blend into this white. So it'll be green up here and white down here. I'm going to refresh this. And you can see that we blended the green into the white. And if I were to change the bottom color, it would blend into there. So I'm just going to go ahead and paste my white color back in there, click Save, and refresh it. And you can see that the white will now blend into the white again. This background, uh, I mean, this body color right here refers to this color. It's the color that's behind the main information. So you can see that we have it right now set to blue. I'm going to go ahead and change it to white to give it a really clean look. And I'm going to go ahead and refresh it. And you're going to see that it changed all that to white. Um, this right here is a color that is the content screen color. So it's currently set to green. And it's also going to be for when I have something like an info page that's going to overlay. It's going to be this green color. And what it did back here was it took uh, uh, an opacity percentage of that color. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and change this to white as well. Give it a really clean color. And we'll go ahead and refresh it. I'm going to click on the album and then I'm going to click on that so you can see that all of that's white and, and, and just really clean and I'm going to go ahead and open up an info page. You can see that it makes it white and, and overlays it so you can see how that affects that color right there. We have the font style where you can pick from a series of fonts so if you want to change up the font you can do that with that drop down. You have the splash page text color so I'm going to go ahead and go to the splash page. The, this splash page doesn't have images associated with every link so um, you're going to want to be aware of that but you do have all these colors here for the text and um, this splash page color right here we're going to go ahead and uh, this color is going to be associated with this and these colors you uh, or this color right here I'm going to go ahead and change it so you can see it I'll change it to uh, a red color so it's real obvious And we'll just go ahead and refresh that. And you can see that the, the enter color on the links that, that link into your site or out to your blog are going to change. You also have the navigation text color and size. And if we were to go back into the site, it's going to be this right here. And then you have the highlight color. So this highlight color is going to be when I roll over it, the color that it changes to. And then the selected color we happen to have is the same. And it's and so you can see that we're on the album page. So that's the selected color. And then we have the title text color and size. And if I were to click into a page, uh, it will show you a title. And I'm going to click back. You can see the title color there and the size. And then we have all the description, text size, uh, style, color, size, and that is all going to be located on pages like where you're going to see a block of text, so like on your info pages or on your um, this little search engine optimization blurb on your splash page. And then you could also play with the with the spacing between the lines. So between this line and this line, you could play with the spacing. And then you have your footer text. So 
if I go ahead and I go back to this album page you're gonna see like you can add copyright the date and your studio name and so that's gonna be the footer size and the footer color and you can adjust that here and then you have the social bar which is right here so if you use the social bar this is gonna be the height of the social bar and then you're gonna have the ability to pick the background color which is this gray and the foreground color which is like this dark color and then the highlight color which will be any kind of link so you can do that as well and now let's go ahead and go to the overlay settings and I've already changed these to some funky colors but what I want to do is when you click on this you're gonna see that you have this background color that's this pinkish color you have the foreground color which will be any of the buttons and the rollovers is this yellow right here so when I roll over these buttons you can see that it changes to that yellow color and then the image matte color is going to be behind this so if you have um, if you have portrait images and it's a letterbox in there, the color to the right and the left is going to be that bluish color. And then you have the ability to turn on and off the thumbnails and change the thumbnail size. So you can do that here as well. So, um, so to, to go over this, this, is, this right here is going to affect this pop-up screen. So when you're clicking on any of the images in the album and it brings it up, those, this is where you're going to set those colors. And then one last thing I want to show you is the advanced tab and there's some things in the advanced tab you're going to want to know and primarily it's going to be this background area here so if you want to come back to the splash page and you want to add a background you can go ahead and click upload new and you can pick an image and when you go ahead and add that image in here it's going to display in this background so I'm going to go ahead and refresh this and you could see that, oh, I got to hit save. Let me go ahead and refresh it. And you can see that it'll take up that background area. Now, obviously, you're going to want to play with your logo and the text and stuff to, to match that image. You're going to want to have an image that uh, doesn't have too much detail so that it doesn't compete. And when you actually go into the site, you are going to see that um, this overlays all of that. So you can, when you upload an image in the background, I picked, I have it set to full frame, but you have a lot of options in here, tile, tile horizontally, tile vertically. So if you wanted to put a pattern in there and have a tile, you can do that. And, um, and then that's going to that's gonna carry throughout the entire site. So it makes the splash page look really cool, and it was kind of the, the idea behind the splash page. Uh, but then it also carries throughout the rest of the site. So you can, you can change it up on a regular basis if you want, and it uh, kind of adds a little bit more something to your site. So I hope that was informative and gives you an idea of what you can do with this template, and I appreciate you watching. Thanks so much.